Hi guy. Welcome to Fook VR channel. If you like my video, please, click like and subscribe to my channel, or buy me one coffee to motivate me to create more videos. If you prefer to watch in article form, visit my buy me coffee page to read it. In the previous post, we learned about Compose concepts and understood how to create a project using Compose. This article will learn about the most basic UI element, which is text elements. Still the same project as before, but if the text is displayed in the wrong position, I will bring it to the center of the screen. Column here you can understand it like a vertical linear layout so. First, by using modifiers, you can style each compose element in multiple ways. You can change its alignment, size, background, shape, and much more. In this case, by using modifier fill a size, you're telling the column to match its parent's width and height. Second, by using horizontal alignment, you're telling the column to center its children horizontally. Finally, using vertical arrangement, you place its items in the center of its parent. As a result, it's already in the middle, which is quite pleasing to the eye. I will talk more specifically about these modifiers in the following articles, so now let's focus on the main character of the day. Compose already allows adding types like strings, drawables, colors, and other types of resources in your UI elements. Now let's try with any string resource. By the way, we will pass the it in. Now let's see what other functions text can do by checking the input parameter. We can quickly understand some of the parameters. Color, lets you set the text color. Font size, changes the font size. You measure it in scalable pixels. Font style, lets choose between standard and italic font. Font weight, sets the weight of the text to bold, black, thin, and similar types. Text align, sets the horizontal alignment of the text. Overflow, determines how the app handles overflow, using either clip or ellipsis. Max lines, sets the maximum number of lines. Style, lets you build a specific style and reuse it, rather than explicitly setting all the other parameters. The current app theme defines the default style, making it easier to support different themes. There are many more parameters for other functions, but we only need to understand the critical and heavily used functions. For the rest, we can read the document to understand more. Now, you're going to display the text in italics with bold weight. You'll also change the color to use the app's primary color and change the text size to 20 SP. First, using font style, you make the text italicized. Second, passing in color, you change the color of the text. Also, notice how color resource lets you easily fetch a color from your resources. Third, the font size parameter lets you pass in size in scalable pixels. Notice the SP property call. Compose has a way to transform integer values into DP and SP by calling respective properties. These are extension properties, so make sure to add the operator. And finally, font weight makes the text bold. Now build and run the project. You've applied all the styles, and the text looks much nicer. Feel free to experiment with other parameters and change the text to your liking. Until now, you've had to build and run your app every time you made a change in the text before you could see the result. This makes it hard to build a complex UI because you have to picture everything in your head. You'll now learn how to avoid that and make your life easier. Compose provides something similar to XML in previewing. To use it, you need to annotate your composable function with a preview. Now, select the split option on the top right side of Android Studio. Then you click on the small icon. One thing to note is that when using preview, your function can't take input parameters. Make sure all input parameters are default parameters. Otherwise, the Android Studio will give an error. Thanks for watching. 
please like and subscribe to get the latest videos, and don't forget to visit my page if you like the article type.